stress diathesis model. We've heard about this a long time. Nature versus nurture, and the answer is yes. <laughs> Golden Gate Bridge. Anybody ever gone to San Francisco and gone to the Golden Gate Bridge? All those struts in it? It's over-engineered. If you put a mild stressor like a race car on it, no problem. It can hold up. You can put a big truck on it, no problem. It's over-engineered. All right, smart Alec, let's knock one of the struts out. That's still over-engineered. Do you think that Golden Gate Bridge is going to fall down if one of the struts goes out? No. Get the car across, get the truck across. I'm going to up the ante. Let's do two risk genes. <laughs> okay, looks a little dodgy there, but it's not falling down by itself. Get the car over the truck. Ooh, almost gets over. What's mental illness? Many risk genes. Mild stressors, maybe not so bad. Oh, my God, I get schizophrenia now. So this is the stress diathesis model. You don't inherit mental illnesses, you inherit risks. Risks are additive, it gets to a point where in something like schizophrenia, it's so biologically determined that maybe half of the people with the risk genes get it, right? Because in monozygotic twins, half of them get it. But in, in something like depression or anxiety, maybe more like 10% get it.